From its founding in 1844 to the present, Hillsdale College has remained fiercely independent of government intervention while offering its students proven avenues to intellectual excellence. That independence enables Hillsdale to offer students an education based on the traditional values of one of America's most important institutions, the family. People here are unique because they do care about people, they care about family, they care about academics, um, religious beliefs are, are very strong here, and all the things that make a family, and that's what Hillsdale is. All right, good play, guys. Yes. <laughs> There's an independence to the place, a um, reliance on individual integrity, individual motivation, responsibility, um, a reliance on self and, and on God, and uh, I like that. That independence, um, that leadership philosophy permeates the classroom. Um, it, it sounds high-minded, but it's something that professors convey, uh, the curriculum conveys. It's teaching students how to be leaders unto themselves. Hillsdale College stands committed to a traditional liberal arts education. Its scholarship is based on the great books of literature and history, bolstered by constant dialogue between students and their professors. I think those who know something about Hillsdale College uh, will know that we are a conservative school. But anyone who thinks that that means that we're stuck in one particular paradigm of life is quite mistaken. Virtually every point of view that could ever possibly exist on the globe, I find across the student body. And what I do like is that, that students don't mind laying the issues on the table and arguing with one another. And often my job and the job of my colleagues is to encourage that and let them sort issues out for themselves. In a time when family values, carefully nurtured for 18 years, can seemingly be swept away in months, the atmosphere of Hillsdale College upholds traditional values students learn at home. Hillsdale College is based on the Judeo-Christian heritage. It's very well known because it does not receive any federal funding. And that's very important to me and my family because we're independent people that have strong beliefs and we wanted to see that carried out in a college. And so I believed that I could fit in well here because of those reasons. And coming up to visit definitely made it all worthwhile because you could see it firsthand what, what exactly this family meant. The campus itself, with its blend of historic and modern architecture, tells the story of a college rooted in tradition, yet responsive to the need for up-to-date facilities. It is a beautiful campus. It's not one of those places you are totally overwhelmed by zillions of buildings. It's nice because most of the classrooms are concentrated in a couple of buildings. It's probably two blocks from any place on campus to the Central Hall area. And it's only three blocks to downtown Hillsdale a town that reflects the Midwestern values of the college. Werosquat tanti in Kendia belli. Again, allusion there. We're to tesqua werosquat tanti in Kendia belli. The words of Virgil's epic poem, The Aeneid, are as vibrant to these students as if they had been written yesterday. By studying the Latin and Greek classics, students examine the course of civilization and the roots of language. What, are we talking us or are we talking Greeks? We're talking uh, Greeks. How do we take gods into us if we're Greeks? In one of the core curriculum English classes, the focus is on the meaning of the literature and how its drama, its comedy, and its lessons are timeless. And our freshman English course is a great books uh, approach to freshman English, and so it's a year of, in which you'll be reading the great authors from Homer down to Hawthorne and you will also uh, spend a good deal of time writing in that. And one of the reasons we take this approach, by the way, in freshman English is because uh, we feel that you learn how to write when you're writing about things that are worth writing about. And so by studying the great books, it gives the students some real meat to uh, think about and to write about in their essays. And to puzzle over, even after the class ends, classrooms are deliberately placed directly across from professors' offices and that arrangement keeps the discussions flowing. That's a great point. That's a great point. 
I want to turn your attention to the writings from Bloch. Again, these excerpts that you read are taken from Bloch's great work on political philosophy entitled Two Treatises of Civil Government, published in 1690. Bloch is therefore voicing the opinion that government, public authority, derives its legitimacy from the consent of the people. I have friends that go to other schools and um, you know, all the things that they get taught are obviously have a very um, specific bias towards um, other ideologies and political ways of thinking. And for instance, they've never taken a political science class. And if they have, um, you know, they never read Plato or Aristotle or things like that, that, um, you know, initially I didn't ever think about. But now that I've been here um, and read some of those things, I understand more and can glean from these great books and ideas for myself. Many of Hillsdale's students choose to major in one of the four business programs offered. They can combine the theories learned in economics, marketing, finance, and accounting with internship opportunities. The city of Hillsdale was offering an internship last year uh, for a finance major. We did a study for the restructuring of long-term debt for the city. You know, you learn things in the classroom. It's one thing to take a test and show that you know it, but it's another thing to apply it to a real situation. Students in this international economics class may find themselves studying abroad for a semester. And they find another part of Hillsdale's core curriculum particularly useful. Secar, to dry. Um, secado y saco. Secado y saco. Aplauso. <laughs> Knowledge of languages is a traditional liberal arts requirement at Hillsdale, not to mention a necessity in our modern world. I really enjoy my students immensely, and the way that I find that I enjoy the class is if I don't let them get bored either. And so I teach first semester, first day Spanish, hola que tal, and um, go up to Oh, through the intermediate levels to advanced grammar and then to literature, of course. And my particular field is Don Quixote, the uh, era of Don Quixote. And so we do medieval and golden age Spanish literature. And that's my passion. That's my love. And I get to teach it. Dedication to teaching is an important component of Hillsdale's personalized education. Students are taught by professors who are experts in their fields and who truly love to teach. If you don't like what you're doing and you can't impart why you like what you're doing to the people that are in your classroom, you might as well not be there. I mean, that's the whole point of teaching, is to share with somebody something you love. And why do you like it? Why is it exciting to you? Why, why do you want to do it every day for the rest of your life? So that when you're talking about um, energy changes and how electrons can move inside of a, of a particular molecule or atom, instead of just talking about it, you, you fry a pickle. I, I've taught at universities where you lecture. And it's not possible to have a dialogue, 350 people in a lecture hall. It's not an option. It's a different kind of teaching style. Um, this is really not lecturing. This is teaching. All science majors are required to conduct research. But there's a desire more fundamental than a requirement that keeps professor and student in the lab at 10.30 at night. Uh, one of the popular misconceptions is that when undergraduates go to large schools, they're all of a sudden going to be in this big lab research environment. And they quickly find out that that's not the case. That's the beauty of coming to an institution like this. Uh, they can come into a lab within their first or second year and get right into a project and work side by side with a professor or juniors and seniors or independent study students. Uh, they get quite an experience and they, they quickly learn what science is about and they learn how to do some things, some practical things in science. Hillsdale's location in South Central Michigan guarantees the touch of all four seasons. And there's a unique portion of campus that is a sanctuary for nature and people who appreciate it. We have a tremendous natural asset here in the Arboretum at Hillsdale College and it makes it